into is a major step up. It's super clean, all underneath the board, more connectivity, more power, amazing. Way easier to use a smaller board. I was using a 4.5 today for, for a downwinder. Amazing how versatile it is. I was using this setup with a very small tow wing and it was crazy, crazy good on big waves, getting super deep and doing turns. Man, you just gotta give it a go because it's next level, Gen 2 4 drive. Check it out. Just a little downwind run. Uh, first time using the prone board with a four wheel drive setup. I've been really loving the ease of use of the sort of wing style board, sort of 60 litres rather than 30. A few little things that are different. Um, just got to be more definite with your timing. So really, like, if it's not flat water and it bumps like it is behind me, downwind sort of style conditions, you got to really focus on that. Like, preempt the downhill, so like throttle on, lean forward, and then get up to your feet as the sort of the bump starts to lift you up which is something that uh you know it's just one of those skills you need to learn just drop it i still have 80 80 83 percent battery left and i mowed it out off long reef like the beach out to the wind line and then got up onto foil then stopped and then got up again and yeah pumped to the beach here at shelly so it's like a eight kilometer run and yeah bugger off i should have used the the slim instead of the max, but I just wanted to make sure I could do it on the prone board. Safety first. <laughs> you want to get stuck out in the sea. But yeah, full drive, get to crazy, super fun. Downwinding on a three, on a four five, being able to stop out in the middle of the ocean, sit there, wait for not even just a little lump, burn it back up on the foil. Way you go. When we lined all this this shoot up, we had east swell and bugger all wind. That the the crew, it could be pretty good out there. I didn't anticipate it being as good as what it was. That was um, didn't seem like we we're in Australia. Put it that way, or well, not not the not not Sydney anyway. And we you know we had I don't know solid four to six foot TPs wrapping around and fully maxed out the setup. To, to say the least, like I um, started out with the 720S with the Endurance Max battery, and I definitely wasn't motoring onto the sets, but I was motoring like from my stomach on the prone board up onto like the inside little ones, and I'd sort of e foil out like I was basically towing myself into any wave I wanted. And I was e foiling onto the sets, and I was on the sets, I'd literally just pop up, shift my feet back, and then just freaking hold on on some of them. So I was so far forward. And um, you got the death wobbles on a couple for sure because, you know, you, you're literally getting onto the wave and then you're moving your feet to where you think is the right spot. And it's not always the perfect spot because it's a quick, you know, you've got to quickly shift your feet once you're on that wave. Um, we got a couple nice turns, held onto a couple just going straight, had a few big slap downs. 
Um, it was it was wild. When we came in and changed setups, I was like still shaking from some of those, like the adrenaline rush I was getting from some of those sets. Um, wild. <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,